So if you've watched some of my previous videos, you know that I'm an advocate for using Anki and you know active recall and spaced repetition methods to actually learn. So what are the best pre-made decks to actually learn medical content? In this video, I'll be talking about the pre-made decks that I recommend you to use in medical school. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Abian. I'm a medical student studying in London. So the first pre-made deck I'm going to recommend is called Flash Finals. The reason why I'm recommending this first is because if you're like me and you study at a UK medical school, which you know, most of the people watching are in a UK medical school, then this is good because it's based on the Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine, the yellow and green or the cheese and onion book that everyone seems to use in medical school. And this is good because it's based on the UK guidelines, so the information is relevant for UK-based medical finals. So that is the main benefit of this deck, the fact that it uses UK-based content if you're studying in a UK-based medical school. However, there are a couple of drawbacks of this deck that you need to be aware of before you decide to go ahead and use it for your learning. The first being that the content is very outdated. It was last updated, I think it was created in 2014 and it hasn't seemed to be updated since then and so the content is very old 2014 that's like many years and you know the later you're watching this video the older this deck is gonna get and if the deck is never updated the information is just gonna keep getting out of date and so you might be learning the wrong information so if you do decide to use this deck make sure you double check the information to make sure it's still up to date and is still valid for the current period that you're learning. The other thing about this deck is that the cards are not very good, unfortunately. Like if you've seen my video on how the thought process I go behind when making cards, I like to have one or two pieces of information in that card, you know, maximum three, so I don't get overwhelmed with the amount of content on one particular card. That makes it much more easy to manage and mark cards that you get right or wrong. Whereas the problem you have in the Flash Finals deck is that the cards have a lot of information in them. So if each card has, you know, this huge amount of information and you only recall say 50% of that information, do you mark that card as good or do you mark it as again because you didn't know half of the card? So it makes it very difficult to not only just learn that content because there's so much content on each card, but also to organize your learning and to mark your cards as good or bad. And then the other downside of this deck is that it doesn't cover all of the topics. So firstly, it's a clinical deck. If you're in preclinical medicine or you're studying things like biochemistry, chemistry, anatomy, physiology. This deck doesn't have that information. It's mainly based for clinical years. So if you're in your later years of med school or unless you're med school that has like an integrated clinical approach. But even then it doesn't cover some topics like obs and gynae and I think a few others as well. So again, make sure to have a look at that deck to see what specialties are covered because it doesn't cover all of it. And so if you do decide to go ahead with using Flash Finals, I'd say the best way is to take each card, break it down into separate cards, update the information Information, check it's still correct. So it's good as like a baseline thing to start, but by no means is it, you know, a fully fledged pre-made deck that's ready to go and up to date. The second one I recommend is called Anking. Now, you might have come across Anking already. Essentially, this is a deck based on the American systems of the USMLE, and it's kind of like a collaborative effort. So it's been made with the input and contribution of many medical students, and it's been developed and refined and tweaked and edited many, many multiple times over, you know, many years, I think now. And so the content on there and the amount of information on there is just absolutely amazing. If I had discovered, you know, anking earlier, that is what I would use and it would make me, I think, a good doctor because it's got more than the amount of information you need to actually go ahead and pass your medical school exam. Having said that, if you're in, again, the UK-based system, it's going to be a bit different because in America, you've got your step one, step two, step one being kind of like the preclinical medicine aspect, so your biochemistry, physiology side of things, and then your step two being your more clinical medicine. And so it's not organized the same way as a UK medical school curriculum would be. And then in your step two, you have your C 
S and your CK, so your clinical skills and your clinical knowledge. And so the Anking deck is based more on the CK because the CS is more like our OSCE style exam. So despite it being, you know, American guidelines, it's still very good for the content, for the core medical content. It's, you know, it's going to be universal. And so if you're using it to learn, I highly recommend using it alongside your medical school lectures and checking, you know, the UK guidelines to make sure things are the same here. But it can be a good way to supplement your learning and use it as a reference tool as well. The next deck I'm recommending is the Ruby Finals deck. Now, I mentioned some of the disadvantages of the Flash Finals deck earlier. This was a project I think set up to kind of tackle those disadvantages in that it was aiming to be a project where it's covering UK specialties, it's going to be up to date, it's going to cover all of the specialties that, you know, Flash Finals didn't cover. And so I think that's where that project was started. To date, and I've checked a couple of times, the project doesn't seem to have kind of been updated at where it stands it's got 1009 cards so if you're watching this video then it might have been updated and it might be a bit you know might have a bit more content for you to actually download but the reason why it's good as I said is because it's based on the UK medical guidelines and it's an up-to-date version of the flash finals again based on Oxford handbook of clinical medicine now the fourth thing I'm gonna actually recommend is not a pre-made deck it's actually to say that to be honest the best thing you can do is just just make your own decks, make your own cards. And I know that you probably didn't click on this video for you to hear me say this because you're looking for a good pre-made deck that does everything and that has everything. Regardless of the fact whether you find a perfect, fantastic deck, it's still not gonna be content that you created. And so you're still gonna have to do the learning from scratch or, you know, adapt to it. And so what I think is a lot more effective is to actually make your own cards as you go along in medical school. And that way your deck load will be a lot more manageable as well. I know in Anking they have 34,000, I think, something like that crazy number, more than 30,000 cards, which I'm not gonna get through. I've never gotten through that and I don't plan to get through that because it's just an overwhelming, amount of cards to actually sit down and plan to get through. And if you're like me and you don't want to sit down and do 900 cards every single day, then planning to go through a deck which has 30,000 cards is just not a very good idea. Having said that, you don't have to use all the cards in that deck. You can just use, you know, some of it, use it as a reference tool, which is what I kind of did. I had it on the background and if I searched something and an anking card came up, then I'd read it. But I didn't actively study from it. What I did was I made my own deck. And when I did, I had, you know, total 2000 cards, which is a lot more manageable than having 30,000 cards. And so your number of reviews you have to do every day goes down and it becomes a lot more manageable. You know, it's a lot more manageable to do 100, 200 reviews every day than it is to do 900,000 reviews every day, which I just do not know how people do it. So I made my decks using past medicine, bit of Oxford handbook of clinical medicine as well, and bit of my lecture notes as well from medical school. And if you want to know the exact process of how I make cards that are effective because there's no point making cards and having them chunky and you're not remembering it and Anki becoming a chore but how to actually make cards that are useful enjoyable to do and actually do enhance your learning then I've made a video on how to make effective Anki cards so check that out if you're interested with that being said thanks for watching and I'll see you again in my next video